Hey guys, riding Humble County here. We're gonna pull the trike out and uh, I'm gonna show you how I do a wash job on it. It's been long overdue, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna pull out my stuff and show you how I do it. So normally, guys, I would use this jack right here. I picked it up at Harbor Freight. And uh, normally I would use that if I was doing a two-wheeled bike so I could lift it and uh, then I could get the rims to spin for me and that way it's easier to do the wheels. Okay guys, so here it is. Here's what I use. I use the trim shine when I'm done washing on the black of the motor. That's this stuff right here. And that will keep the black on your engine looking nice and black. Um, of course I use Meguiar's car wash and when I'm all done with everything I use that quick detailer right there for the painted parts and then of course just some regular turtle wax chrome polish and this right here is the magic tool right here and it's made by Easy Detail it's called an Easy Detail brush and this is what you use to get all the nooks and crannies that you can't find or that you can't reach with a sponge so I'll show you how to do that in a few. All right, guys, we got our hot soapy water. Uh, yeah, I always use hot, hot soapy water, and then I make sure I got plenty of suds by following it up with the hose, but it is hot. So we're gonna start by just getting the hose out, hitting everything. Be generous with the water too. There's nothing you can't hit on this bike that uh, is going to hurt it. It was meant to ride in the rain, so yeah. Even the stereo the speakers and all. Well, I try to stay away from the seat, but you know it's going to get a little bit wet. In fact, this is the first time that this strike has ever been washed. It's uh, it's only got 2,500 miles on it. And uh, yeah, it's well overdue for a wash job. All right guys, here's where the easy detail brush comes in handy right here. You wanna hit all the nooks and crannies with this bad boy right here because there's a lot of stuff you can't reach with a sponge. So. And then I'll come behind it with a sponge and get all the stuff on the exterior. But as far as the interior goes, yeah. Boy, I tell you what, they don't make it easy on this one. There's some tight spots in this on this trike here. Not even a bunch of space on top of the head so you can reach in there with. It's pretty uh it's pretty tight. Lots of spots on the forks, in between all the passing lamps, the headlight. This brush does it all, I tell you. Even on the crash bar, you can see here spots that you just can't reach with a with a sponge.
2017 Triglide, by the way. It's the same one you've seen me riding in the videos. But I've been riding it dirty. <laughs> so, it's time to give her a bath. You know, there's lots of gimmicks out there. They claim to have polishes and these solutions that you can wipe on your bike, etc., etc. None of that stuff is going to work as good as uh, good old-fashioned elbow grease. So, with that being said, I'm just going to demonstrate on one side for you guys. And then I'm going to show you what I do to dry it. And the way I dry it, uh, you don't even need to use a rag or a... Uh, towel or a chamois of any sort I've got a special tool and I'll show you that here in a few minutes yeah so I've already hit all the nooks and crannies that I can with the with the uh, easy detail brush now I'm gonna go at it with this guy right here and just hit everything on the outside these blue flowers right here are called love in a mist oh. just in case anybody asks you love okay. in a mist Sorry, you're the flower person, not me. I just like to plant them with you. That's all. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then I let you take care of the rest of it. I'll dig the hole and... Are we gonna leave Prudy in or out? I don't know. Out. Why did you put her out anyways? Because I think that any amount of time that she can spend outside is good for her. Okay. Okay guys, no need to get uh, no need to get stingy with the soap. Get it all. another story. Nothing like hot soapy water and the right tools, and then I'll show you what I use to dry it. I use a dog grooming tool, and it puts out quite a bit of hot air, so you really don't have to even use a, a rag or a microfiber cloth or anything until you uh, start doing your chrome or you know, your painted surfaces, your polish, whatever you want to do after you wash it. Alright guys, so we got it all washed down, rinsed. Here's the magic drying tool right here. It's called the Flying Pig and you can get it off Amazon for about 170 bucks. It has multiple adjustments uh, as far as heat go and uh, how hard you want it to blow, etc. And uh, I just take this thing right here and I go from top to bottom with it until it's completely dry. Just start from the top and work your way down. Simple as that, guys.
and this thing really pumps out hot air too. The nice thing about this right here, you don't need to use a rag to dry your bike off. You get all the water off. All right, guys, that, that about does it. So after she's completely dry, you can take and uh, run it down the road if you want. Get the engine really, really dry. I don't usually have to. In fact, I just use this uh, flying pig tool and it does the trick, but. Uh, after I'm done with that, I'll use this, which is made by Stoner Car Care. And you want to get it in the aerosol can. Don't buy it in the um, squirt bottle because it's two different solutions. I don't know why, but it just is. Anyways, yeah, you put this on anything that's black on the motor and it will not only preserve it, but it actually keeps that engine looking new, um, especially the fins uh, on the heads, etc. So uh, yeah, I'll put that on the engine as soon as it's completely dry. And then of course, every about fourth or fifth wash, I just use the regular turtle wax um, chrome polish and I'll go over all the chrome. Uh, up here where I live, uh, corrosion is a big uh, problem. So uh, high humidity, etc., will uh, actually eat your chrome up. If you live in an area where you have high humidity, I recommend uh, having a real good place to put your bike that uh, that um, you have a dehumidifier running in and is also well insulated. So we got that. And then last but not least for the painted surfaces when you're all done, some Meguiar's quick detail. Quick, de quick detailer, mist and white by Meguiar's. And you can go over all the tank and the fenders and all that good and stuff. Shine. So here's what we do with it. Don't wipe on your bike in between washes when you see there's dirt on it. All you're doing is you're rubbing the dirt into the paint and making fine scratches. Do not rub on your bike when you see dust on it. You're doing absolutely no good. Um, yeah, hot soapy water and plenty of elbow grease and the proper tool is the only way to do it. And I'd like to throw in one last thing. There's nothing wrong with Lemon Pledge. Lee McLaren, I know you disagree with that. By the way, Lee McLaren is uh, is the guy that taught me how to wash bikes uh, up here on the west coast and uh, he is the proud owner of uh, Iron Horse Detail so um, I give all the credit to him however he's uh, he doesn't like this stuff so <laughs> but uh, anyhow so yeah there's nothing wrong with lemon pledge it works on everything chrome painted surfaces you name it so Anyways, yeah, you can see she doesn't look bad. Just takes a little bit of time. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. Have a good day.